the, the political uh, aspect is the background of the story and I didn't escape it but I didn't focus on it it's uh, it's it's part of her life you know she fought for for political reason for, for many years so it's it's included in the film but my purpose was really the, the, the dimension the human dimension of the film that was my main main interest because I think that through her story we can learn something all of us and let me remind you that most of us, uh, our grandparents, most of our grandparents, they also abandon uh, husband and, and child to go to the war. You know, they take the same decision. They were fighting for an idea of freedom, and some of them never come back. So it's it's something that we face all the time in, in our life or lives of our parents. All the democracy we have today. Have, uh, we win this democracy with, with blood, all of them. If we watching the democracy uh, of the Arab Spring that we have since a couple of weeks now, you know, in Libya and Tunisia and, and all these countries, they, they win their, their freedom with blood. France also, every, every country. From my knowledge, I'm not a big expert in, in history, but from, from my knowledge, it's the only time that a, a country tried to get a democracy without blood. And that's what she tried for 30 years. So I think at the end of the day, if she win, we all win. Because I will be, as a human being, so proud that at least we can get one democracy without a drop of blood. That would be a, a, a big, big victory. So. I think it's our duty also to help her to succeed on that. We start the film to help her to get released and then in the middle of the film she gets released. So we were a kind of a, a very happy first, all of us. Uh, the situation was a kind of incredible because on the morning, you remember the scene when uh, at the end, she, she come at the at the grill and then she waved the, the monk. We shot this scene on the morning, and then on the same day we went to the hotel, and on TV there is the same door from far, and then we see the real incense which she almost dressed the same way with the flower, waving the same way because she learned how to do it, and then she was free. And for a couple of seconds, I thought that someone steal the image from the shooting, you know, with, with the phone or something. And the light was bad. And, and but So we were in shock, but so happy for her. And you realize uh, a couple of days after that, that's not freedom. It's not just the fact that she can get out of her house. Uh, if she's leaving Burma, she won't be able to return. Uh, her party, the NLD, is dissolved. She is not obliged. She's not. Uh, she can't make a, a meeting, a political meeting. So she's she's not free. There's a little bit of her who is free now, but she's not free yet. So the film is still very accurate. And and by the way, I'm sure you know, but. This little comedian called Zagana that you see in the film, you know the comic guy uh, who takes 65 years of jail because he cracked jokes against the, the military. Um, he get free a week ago, so that was a uh, that, that's a very good sign, and we were very happy to know that he's free.